G'day folks, Boomer here. Thanks for tuning in to this Just Cause 3 video. Today we're going to be doing the Boat Invaders Sea Battle 5 gear challenge. This one is the only challenge available with the DLC Bavarium Heist uh, pack. And for this one, there's five modifications for the Eden Spark, the weapon you're going to be using. You'll get one for every gear you unlock, so if you are having trouble, like for example in the first try I got four gears on this one, go ahead and just turn those modifications on now before you start again. Uh, the mods will just let the Eden Spark duration go a little longer and make it more powerful, so that can be the difference on this one if you are having trouble the first time you play it. And as you can see, we need 40,000 points for the five gears here. So this one's a little different. You're going to have to destroy all the ships and helicopters and enemy vehicles that are coming at you. The actual description of this says staying airborne is ideal and um, I didn't really get that. I guess they want you to kind of float around on a parachute and do it that way. But for me, I just found staying in this exact spot right here and letting all the boats come to me worked beautifully. Uh, it wasn't really any challenge at all once I'd figured that out. The first time I was jumping around everywhere trying to change position and it just, it wasn't coming together. So uh, here I just ended up just staying on this spot and obviously just going to want to point the Eden Spark at the boats and just kind of guide it to them. It can take a little bit of practice to get the beam exactly where you want it, especially on some of the ones that are far away. But with a little bit of practice you can kind of predict where they're going to be biggest threat here is the helicopters that are going to come in. Uh, they also give you the most points. So you can see there's one right there. They actually give you 8,000 a piece, which is a big deal compared to the 1,000 or so or 500 you get from these boats. So just something to be aware of. Usually about four or five of them will show up during the run. Um, I was actually playing this with the volume off at the time, so I didn't even realize they were there until I started taking damage. But Check around every now and again. And just take them out as you get there. Like I said, they give you the most points by far, so definitely try and hit those first. For the rest of it, it's just a case of just taking the boats out as they come across. A couple of them fired on me, but apart from that, I didn't really take any damage at all. The heavy Corvette ones will give you a thousand points. The others, anywhere from 500 to a thousand. This helicopter gave me a little bit of trouble because I just couldn't get the stupid Eden Spark wind up for some reason, so I did take a bit of damage on this, but no big deal. It happens, I got him eventually. There we go, finally. Yeah, this was actually a really fun challenge. I enjoyed it. I, I like the Eden Spark as a weapon and this was not really that stressful for a challenge as some of the others were, so it was good fun. And as you can see, we've already got five gears here with uh, 28 seconds left, so I think the helicopters combined probably gave me four out of the five gears I needed. Um, yeah, probably about 30, 32,000 points or so. And the rest was just picking off these boots at random. But Anyway, that's how I completed this challenge. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. And tune in soon for more Just Cause 3 5 gear challenges.